Here in Fairbanks, the ice is around 30 inches thick, which should allow me to cut down a ways and cut out bigger blocks without actually cutting through the ice. I've learned from past experiences that it's actually a lot easier to cut out ice blocks when you're not cutting all the way through the ice because the water would bog down the chainsaw and then freeze up. So here, I'm starting off by cutting down a foundation. That way I can then start cutting out big blocks to work on the igloo. Um, it's hit me now that this is a lot bigger project than I was expecting because just doing this right here has taken a long time. <laughs> Alright, it is day two of the Ice Igloo project and it is a lot colder today. It is around negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, I think I'm gonna try to get the base of the igloo just like big enough, wide enough and try to get a couple arches up to see if this is even possible. So, here we go. Now this is a big block. Oh Lord. Remember kids, lift with your back, not your legs. Don't wanna hurt your knees. Frick hell. Jesus, Germany Christmas. And, come on, mother fricker. Oh, who knew water was so heavy? Ah! Ah. Oh, look at this, Betsy. That's a chunky girl. So now that I have the foundation cut out to roughly the size that I want, I'm gonna start stacking blocks. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use this wooden arch that I made out of just a big piece of plywood to stack blocks, and then I'm gonna fill the gaps with snow and water to freeze them together. And then basically, I'm gonna build a bunch of arches next to each other and hopefully make a big funnel uh, <laughs> ice igloo. So hopefully this all works out. I've done it. I've completed one arch and I really want to remove the support but I am very scared that if I do it will fall and all my hard work will come crashing down. So I'm going to leave that suspense till tomorrow. That way it can totally freeze and solidify and has the best chance of staying up. But uh, yeah, here we go. Tomorrow. Big reveal, big moment. <gasps> uh, are you kidding me? And dad thought I was gonna be the engineer. Guess he was right.
business is booming. Every day I have to cut the watering hole open again, and sometimes it is completely frozen. It is day seven now, and I only have one more arch to put up, and then I think that'll be big enough. I think that'll be enough arches that I can then start building the walls and start building the tunnel and filling in all the little cracks and stuff. So we're almost done with the, the hardest part of this whole build. So I'm pretty stoked. I think we should finish this last arch today and maybe start filling in the cracks or start coming blocks for the wall. All right, let's get to it. So I have now put up the very last arch and it is looking good. Like <laughs> it looks, it looks good. <laughs> I think it looks great. So all it's really left to do now is fill in all the cracks and then put up the walls on each side and make a tunnel going in. And yeah, I, I also want to clear out the inside bottom a little bit and make a little more room because I still have those two sides so I think I'll cut those down a little bit so it's more spacious in, in there yeah let's go I just broke the pull cord, so I guess that's a wrap for today's production. It's been really good though. Got the last arch up, got the entranceway set up. Day seven, good progress.
So I'm at the point now where I think I can start filling in some of the cracks with slush, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's looking pretty damn good. I'm pretty satisfied with my work so far. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know what day it is anymore. It's like day nine, maybe even day 10, but it's cold today. It's really cold. It is so cold that the winder for the pull cord will not wind the cord back up. And plus the chain's so cold that the chainsaw is dying like constantly. You, 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 you piece of, I, I just, this is, this is not living La Vida Loca, okay? Almost done now, look at that. Look how good that looks. All that's left to do now is clean out the insides chop off the sides, level it out some, and then cut out a spot for the wood stove, and then put up the final wall, and we will be done. is done it is pr okay almost done the only thing that's left to do is i need to get the wood stove in here and then make some kind of chimney cover that's not out of ice that way it won't just melt but it is pretty much complete it is almost tall enough for me to stand up but not quite i thought about shaving down like three more inches but i know the ice is thick but I don't want to like take that big of a risk. I figured, you know what? This is close enough. I can stand in a hunch position. But yeah, let's get cozy. Let's get cooking. warmer in here but it's not as warm as I thought it was gonna get <laughs> maybe I just really need to jam pack a ton of wood in there and just get this puppy roaring the pine boughs that I put to use as a uh, <laughs> to use as um they caught on fire <laughs> the difference of 
the warmth in here versus the outside is making the ice kind of expand a little bit and it's cracking and popping occasionally and I'm like I, I think it'll hold because they survived the two days where it was above freezing we shall see <laughs> yeah let's get cooking Oh! <laughs> 